there and welcome to my channel, Dr. Coco's Medmonics. Today we're going to be doing differentiation of T cells and I do recommend that you do the interleukin video first before you do this one because knowing um, the different interleukins and their functions will help you understand this entire process. So here's the differentiation of T cells and you're looking at this and you're like, oh my god, there's so many numbers. How the hell am I supposed to know all of this? Like, is this even important? And I thought the same thing. But knowing this process and knowing all of these interleukins and what triggers and what gets turned on helps to learn many different diseases and has helped me a lot in different NBME and step questions. So first we're going to look at Th1. And Th1 is turned on by IFN gamma and IL12 to give off IFN gamma and IL2. And so if we can remember, um, the Th1 helps turn on T cells because it's IL2 that's being released, and IL2 is two cell activation or T cells, then we can know that this is going to turn on your CD8 positive T cells. And then if we give off IFN gamma, we said that the gamma meant granuloma, and granuloma is formed because of uh, macrophages. And we can think of that with like the tuberculosis sketchy where tubercul tuberculosis likes to go into macrophages and replicate. But how the heck am I supposed to remember this? This is so many numbers, right? So we're going to just do some really, really bad math here. We're going to say 12 and then you get rid of the 1 and then all you have left is 2. So not actually subtracting, you're just getting rid of the 1 out of 12. So 12 for IL-12, get rid of the 1 for TH1, and then left you have 2. So 12, get rid of 1 is 2, and that'll help you remember TH1, and then knowing the function of IFN gamma and IL-2 will help you know what's going to happen when you have a TH1 mediated process. Next we're going to do TH2, and this one, if you can remember, 2, 4, 2, 4. Just that pattern, that'll help you remember what interleukins are involved in Th2. So IL2 and 4, 2, 4, turns on Th2 to give off IL4, 2, 4, 2, 4. And so you have the Th2 mediated response giving off IL4, 5, and 6. So if you can just remember 4, then you can remember that it's 4, 5, 6, just right in an order. And we remember from the interleukins um, video what all of these do. So IL-4, you get on the floor, so GET is for IgG and IgE. And then IL-6 is an acute phase reactant because six-year-olds are acute. Um, so all of this is supposed to help you remember and these are involved in like IgE and eosinophil mediated responses. And um, I'll go over some of the diseases at the end. Next we have TH17. So this is another one where we're gonna just do some really bad math, okay? So IL1 and IL6. So one and six gives you seven. Now seven is not in any other pathway here. So if you can remember, 1 and 6 gives you 7, then this is for the TH17 response. And TH17 gives off IL17. So then you can remember that these are all like higher numbers, 17, 21, 22. And these will activate neutrophilic inflammation or induce a neutrophilic inflammation. Last, we have T regulatory cells. And this one we're not going to do as much math as think of how would you regulate a T cell? Well, in order to regulate a T-cell, it would first have to be turned on, right? And so how do we turn on T-cells? Well, IL-2. So IL-2 will turn on T-regulatory cells. And if we're trying to regulate something, we're thinking more of an autoimmune reaction. And we remember from the interleukin video, IL-10 attenuates your immune system. So T-regulatory is going to turn on IL-10 to prevent autoimmunity in your body. So why do I care? Why the heck am I learning all these? 
I don't really know. Is this going to make me a better doctor? Who knows? But we're going to look at the different disease processes. So TH1, we can remember with macrophages in the tuberculosis sketchy. Um, so if you have a problem with your TH1, you're going to get microbacterial infections. And that makes perfect sense because I think gamma works with macrophages. Next, we have TH2, and if we're turning on IgE and eosinophils, we're definitely thinking some type of um, allergy, right? So atopic dermatitis, maybe asthma, um, and then IL-6 for acute uh, face reactants is gonna do inflammatory conditions. Um, so you can remember, like, TH2 is in ulcerative colitis, and that's going to be an inflammatory condition, so you're going to have an increase in your IL-6. TH17 does neutrophilic inflammation, and so if you have a problem with your TH17, you're going to have something called Jobs syndrome. And this one has shown up before, and, and usually they'll describe some kid with a coarse facial feature. Um, they I put shark teeth here, that's like extra numerary teeth as a kid, maybe they have some eczema, something's going on, this kid looks kind of funky. Um, that's going to be a problem in your TH17 system. So if you can remember, um, the 1 and 6 gives you 7, and then these are kind of like high up numbers, so maybe you think that they have like this uh, kid with 17 teeth, I mean that's a lot, right? And then last is Treg, and I've actually had a lot of questions on this before, and you think it's like probably not too high yield, but it's shown up in random situations for me. So this is a problem with your FOXP3, giving you IPEX syndrome. And IPEX syndrome actually is a mnemonic. Um, so the I for immune dysfunction, P for polyendocrine, <laughs> polyendocrinopathy and E for enteropathy and the X is for it being X-linked. Usually when I get a question about this, they'll talk about maybe a kid with these, this IPEX. They'll even say, give a um, pedigree showing that it's X-linked. And then I'll ask what system is the problem in this disease and it'll be the T regulatory. So then they'll have problems with um, giving up too much like IL-10 and attenuating their immune system and causing this IPEX syndrome. So real quick recap, this is a little bit longer of a video but I think this is a video in a concept that has helped me a lot. So 12, get rid of the one, is two for IL-12, turning on TH1 to give up IL-2. 2424 for IL-2 and 4, turning on the TH2 to give off IL-4. And it'll give off IL-4, 5, and 6. Then we have IL-1 and 6, so 1 plus 6 gives you 7, to turn on the TH17. And that gives off the higher numbers that you can remember as lots of teeth and job syndrome. And last, how would you regulate a T cell? Well, you'd have to turn it on first. So IL-2 gives you the T regulatory to give off IL-10. I hope this video helped, and if it did, give us a like. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to keep posting.